Hello, okay, so today we are going to teach you how to eat, do self-care on a muscle that's incredibly hard to use with a foam, or to work on with a foam roller. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, it's also a muscle that gets chronically tight, and that actually causes many, many types of hyper-irritated points, which we call trigger points, and those can send off all kinds of pain problems, specifically headache and neck pain and stiff neck. So this muscle is definitely one we want to, to work on, it's just not so easy to do. So we're gonna do that today. Yes. Hi, this is Brian and Christina from Your Healthy Steps, the creators of the Ultimate Foam Roller Blueprint, and we teach purposeful foam Absolutely. rolling and self-care skills so you can be pain-free and active. So this is for educational purposes only. We're giving you 15 years of experience as neuromuscular massage therapists. Absolutely. Okay, so we're talking about the muscle, the trapezius. Now, the trapezius muscle is a big muscle. It actually goes from the back of your skull all the way down here to the almost to the lower back. So we don't want to, we can't spend all this time working on this particular muscle, so we're going to break it down to the middle section. And this is where a lot of those hyper-irritated points are in this muscle anyways, so it's perfect. Okay, so where is this muscle, this middle section of this muscle? It is down where the neck, the spine of the neck ends in the upper, the spine of the upper back begins right here. And then it drops down to just a bit below the spine of your shoulder blade, right here, that big bony spot on the back. Now, if you watch Christina, she's actually mm -hmm. gripping her shoulder. This is where this muscle at. So if you reach your hand back here, take your fingers and pull on here, this is where the muscle resides. And you just work your way out toward the outside of the arm because this muscle attaches at the clavicle right over here the, uh, where, the, where the shoulder blade ends and this big bone called the spine of the, of the shoulder blade, the scapula. So that's it. So that's a great way for you to find it. Just this reach back here, grab, and, and give it a good squeeze with the hands, and you're right on it. And my guess is it's going to be tender. <laughs> yeah. So what does this muscle do? Well, this muscle actually pulls your shoulder blades back. So if I wanted to pinch my shoulder blades back, this would be the muscle that would be doing that, and it also stabilizes the muscle. Mm -hmm. well, I'm sorry, it stabilizes your shoulder blade. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what causes this muscle to get tight? Mm -hmm. uh, light. <laughs> light. <laughs> Absolutely. So this muscle gets really tight when your shoulders are forward. Yep. So if you're sitting for a long period of time and you have poor posture, say if you're working on a computer or maybe you're driving or sitting in a meeting and stressed, mm. that's what makes that muscle tight. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And what can happen? Well, we already talked about hyper irritated points, and this muscle has quite a few. And a lot of them reside in this middle section, so let's show you where those are at. So a hyper irritated point is just a muscle that's gotten so tight and so angry, and now it has actually created a trigger point that fires off pain to different areas. So that's what this muscle does. The number one uh, start one up here is it's very difficult for you to see, but it's actually where the, the muscle rolls over onto the clavicle, right on the very top of your shoulder. And this particular trigger point can fire pain, which a lot of us feel right in the or tightness and pain in the side front section of your neck, even into the jaw itself and the jaw bone, you feel a lot of pain here, and pain behind the ear and the skull, all the way in the top, above the top of your ear, even down, just even just the tip of the ear, down into the temple and into the eye, just into the edge of the eye. And again, pain, stiffness of the neck, those types of things. And it feels like a headache. So if you've yeah, ever gone like this, sure. it's That's most a good likely possible, yeah. this muscle. So the other tr another trigger point is right here, um, right where the shoulder blade ends, right like on the top of that little spot back there that everybody feels very pain painful and tight. And that particular trigger point, I'm sorry, can actually send pain from the base of your skull, mm -hmm. all up in here, headache, down, neck pain, and tightness, all the way down into this region right here. So that's very top edge of that shoulder blade. And then the next one, this is not really in the neck of the head, but this trigger point can create burning sensation here that gets things fired up and sends it right on up the neck. So that's why we wanted to talk about that. And this is an absolutely unbearable burning pain that you can feel here. This particular trigger point here fires pain up right on the top of your shoulder blade. And again, it tends to aggravate everything and just kind of radiate on up into the head, creating more headaches and pain. And then the last one I want to bring up, this is a very interesting trigger point. It's actually right on the skin level. It's right here. And this particular trigger point can actually cause goosebumps in the back of your arm toward the front of the arm, and even on the same side, the leg on the same side. 
So since Mr. Manny doesn't have legs, I wasn't able to show you that. But again, that's a wide range of pain, headaches, stiff neck, uh, neck pain right. caused by this muscle. Have you ever had pain like this? Let us know. We'd like to know. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah temple pain, pain in the back of the skull, headaches. Mm -hmm. Messes the guy. Okay. Oh, here we go. Take care. How do what we take care of do? this? So Christine is going to be using the foam ball, mm -hmm. and she is going to be working this particular area of the muscle right here. So basically from the spine all the way across onto that bony part that, 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 that on the back that you feel of your shoulder blade, that's called the spine of the shoulder blade. She's working right below it and right above it. Mm -hmm. And you should feel this when you work on top of that. It's, it's going to be a little, little tender. Now, again, we're going to be using multiple tools here because this is a very difficult muscle to get to. So that was fairly straightforward. Foam wheel is a little bit different. So she's going to take the foam wheel and put it on the wall at an angle. She's going to take her body to the side, and she's going to take the outside leg and put, put it out of waist and put some pressure against that foam roller. Now, from, and she's going to sort of rotate her back, just her body back just a little bit until she gets into this area of her shoulder or this right up here. Perfect. Now, the movement is going to be back and forth. Typical foam rolling is back, uh, up and down. This is going across the muscle because we're going to just try to chisel this out of here. So again, it's, it's not a rolling sensation. It's a back and forth, up and, or going forward and backwards, forward and backwards, and, and really kind of gliding or grinding that part of the muscle that gives the foam roller to break some of that stuff out of there. Mm -hmm. So since this muscle is so, uh, you get lots of trigger points in this muscle, it may be so tight that you may have to get a massage therapist in there to work it out of there, and that's perfectly fine. What's nice is that then these tools will work after the session to help encourage these trigger points to stay away. And if you just have tightness but you don't have these symptoms, it's a great way to try to keep those symptoms at bay and keep these muscles nice and loose. You okay? got it. And then after you do your foam rolling, you wanna do some stretching. Absolutely. So a real simple stretch is to the side that you're stretching, take that hand and grab the bottom of your chair and then lean away from um, your hand. Yeah. And you'll get a nice stretch here. You can put your head a little bit forward and lean it back a little bit and just let that muscle stretch. Yeah. And you wanna do both sides because like I, I should have said this, this muscle is on both sides of your body. Mm -hmm. So it's not just on this side. Um, yes. So you wanna stretch both directions. And then you wanted to mention a caution. Oh, a caution, yes. So if you have any neck concerns, neck issues, um, uh, you've seen a chiropractor and you want to just make sure, always check either with a chiropractor or a doctor or a physical therapist before you start running a, you know, a foam roller over this area to be, or, or be aggressive with it. Okay? okay? All right. Well, great. So if your muscles are tight and sore, yeah. and if you've ever wondered to yourself, man, if I feel like this now, what am I going to feel like in 10 or 20 years? Yeah. Well, then you need to start our free program. It's six day program is called the three, three steps to a more flexible and pain free body. And what we're going to do is we're going to explain why your muscles are so tight and we're going to yeah. get you into new habits so you can start to reduce that muscular pain that you're dealing with. So, so just, first steps. Yeah. So just click on the link to get started. I know it's going to help a lot. Absolutely. Good yes. for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good for us. We yes. do the same thing. And if you have any muscular questions, feel free to jot it down below, yeah. send us an instant message, and we're happy to do some research and answer it for you. Absolutely. Okay. okay. So this is Brian and Christina from Your Healthy Steps. Thanks so much. Right. Have a great Bye -bye. day.